so... Hmm. The thing, here's the problem though. I don't think there was really much I could have done to fix that. Because I thought... I thought that the cloaking would be on top. Hmm. 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 Interesting. The cloaking under the sensors is what really kind of killed it. Mm. Let me test something on camera here, because I'm curious to see what exactly... exactly... No, repair bombs are around. That's, there's no problem with that. Let me look at the... XML file for the mini Kestrel. Because I thought that that would... Because sensors is underneath Do I need to swap it? I might need to flip the direction. So have the subsystems on top of the ship blueprint system list. I wonder if that's what did it. Hmm. Yeah, repair bombs will work with overlap systems. There's no problem with that. That's how with the R-Wing Adventures mod. That's how the system bodge tool is how that works. So it is the only way to make that ship playable, really, <laughs> considering how tiny of a thing it is. I mean, if you think that uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 rooms is bad, try 4. <laughs> um, let me see. Let me boot up a test. Let me make a backup of the... Let me make a backup of the save game. So I'm going to need to quit. Paste. Replace. Let me quickly boot up... Slipstream. With the full system test. So this is with all of the systems. And you can definitely see the overlap. That I went with. If I jump in, let me see, now that I've pretty much maxed out this ship, let's go to the first, let's go to the first bit of combat and wait until someone shoots down the sensors. And see what happens. <laughs> okay, so we got an NG that's going to die in the first attempt that we actually, you know, in the first fight, because, blarg. Attack the Rebels. Okay, so they have a missile launcher, so everything depower except med bay. And O2. I want them to actually hit a layered room, of which there's four. Okay, not the one I wanted you to hit. Not the one I wanted you to hit. Not the one I wanted you to hit. Thank you. Okay. So now, you can see here that both drones and hacking 
have been damaged. If I send someone in to start repairing that, and if I look at the XML file, eh, this is faster. <laughs> and mod testing environment actually is a little bit slower on Windows because I can't just go to a testing sector. So the way I have it is that hacking is listed second after drones. So it goes drones, then hacking in the XML file. So if I send you in there to start repairing, drones gets repaired first. Interesting. And yet, with the sensors, which I bet you we're going to get hit there next, or not, Come on, hit me! Not there. I'm curious to see what happens with this one, though. Because that was the one that got me killed in the run. Eh, uh, that's good enough. Okay. So, mind control and doors. My control is getting repaired faster than doors. Okay. And the next one that gets hit will be... And then for this one, O2 is getting fixed faster than battery. They're hitting everything but the sensors. That's hilarious. Oh, well, you get to see the Gibbs again. <laughs> okay. The problem is... I think it only lets you do the layered systems. Let you pick if it starts with those systems. Which means I might have to go back to the drawing board with this entire design. I might have to go with, a, like, a instead of a 50% size, I might have to go for a 75% size in order to make this actually playable. Hmm. Interesting. Let me try... True, but if the systems are layered, that really kind of screws with things. I want them to hit the sensor room and see if that's the same problem. It's not the sensor room. Not the sensor room. Yeah, there would be other layered layered systems, which is why I... I mean, you can see here how the two are layered. Still waiting on... Sensors. Does it just not like hitting sensors? <laughs> Come on, come on. 
I just want to see which gets repaired faster. Come on. With feeling. Yeah, but that's that's something I would have to do off camera and would take too it, it would take too long to do on stream. Hi, Planetfall. Yeah, small bomb probably should start with. Sorry, welcome. Definitely not Planetfall. <laughs> yeah, I got hit by an ion. <laughs> ah, yeah. Let's get the mod testing environments. Let's do this correctly. Mod testing. Full system test. Are they, though? New game. Start. Ah. Yeah, that messes with things. So I'm not going to have any crew. This is fine. Just spawn all the quest markers that we can then. Start testing. Jump. Start heading towards the quests. <laughs> Stay out of it. Quest. And let's get a small bomb. Uh, I want more options. Hire a crew member, human. Quest. I want a small bomb. Uh, more options. Search random weapons. Stun bomb. Small bomb. Close this. Okay, small bomb, attack. <laughs> and it's on fire. Okay, so, it is the clone bay that's getting repaired faster. The problem is, is that if I don't start with that, so, hangar, quit, we'll do it again with a mod testing environment, but without the system, test, new game, start, Continue, spawn menus, hit the three key a bunch of times. Because I'm lazy. <laughs> this will be the last thing we do for today. I just I'm curious to see. Because this is going to be all the quests are over there. Cool. Ignore the request. Because otherwise the game would crash because I have no crew. <laughs> Stay near the beacon. Quest. Okay. More options. Hire a crew member. Human. We got Pippaluck. Now I want to get the clone bay. Not clone. Uh, more options. Install subsystem. Cloaking. Yes. Next, I want to go to the quest and get the small bomb. More options, random weapons. Small bomb. Close this menu, small bomb, small bomb that. Do, 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 do.
And it's the sensors that's getting repaired faster. Well. Well. Well, just to end it off, because... Blarg. Yeah, new, new systems get added to the bottom of the list. Well... I think that's not the right burst laser, too. I want... A normal burst laser mark, too, please. Close this menu. More options, random weapons. I'll smash her. Ah, here we go. Now let's mark, mark three. Well, to close it off, I'm going to try to find a normal burst laser mark two that's not a mini one. More options, random weapons. Ah, here we go. Uh, and I should have maxed out the system. <laughs> Let's get uh, more options. Cancel. Get supplies. And then I will put it there. So you can see the difference between the normal first laser and the mini bear hit burst laser. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, that's probably going to end the stream then, folks. Um, so, not quite ready for prime time, this one. But, you know. <laughs> oh boy. Hmm. Well. Time to figure out how I want to do this, because I don't want to do one-by-one one rooms. Uh, let's see about the Artemis. Let me see if I can grab that. That one's not as, uh... ...apparent. Uh, Pegasus is the same... ...image. No, it is. No, yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, I am going to go ahead and save the chat as well so that we can have a list of all the bingo things. But that is going to end it off. Um... We'll go back to our regularly scheduled programming next week. Um, I am going to need to spend a little bit more time figuring out this mini ship thing. <laughs> yeah. it. Give a lot of thanks over to Arfi for uh, helping out with the art for the miniature weapons. Uh, so, I'm going to go ahead and swap over to the... End card. Woo. So I wish you all the best for the rest of your day. Um, feedback on this ship is going to be needed. I will probably be discussing it quite a bit in the biodome to try to figure out exactly how to fix this thing. Make it uh, playable, so to speak. Um, so, yeah. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>